With a new season about to drop, now seems like a good time for us to take a closer look at the web series Bee and Puppycat, with both its interesting origins and colorful production. This will be a shorter video than usual, largely because of how short the runtime of the show is, but it's fun to talk about all the same. I'm Jeremy, and these are 30 facts you should know about Bee and Puppycat. Number 1. Something that hasn't really been seen that much, but this show actually had a pilot episode. Well, pilot pair. The episodes are only five minutes each, but still a return to form. Number two, it started life on Frederator's very own Two Cool Cartoons, which sadly wasn't given a very long life. It was supposed to have 39 episodes, but had to call it quits after 11. Number three, but the two pilot episodes definitely struck a chord with audiences. The Kickstarter campaign launched to turn Bee and Puppycat into a full series was obviously a success, since there's a complete second season, Lazy in Space, on the way. Number 4. In fact, it's only the second time this has happened, the previous success being Bravest Warriors, also from Frederator, but a different cartoon incubator. I swear there's no bias here. Number 5. This idea had been tried four times before, some of which we discussed with previous videos. What a Cartoon with Cartoon Network, Oh Yeah Cartoons with Nickelodeon, The Meth Minute 39, and Random Cartoons, again with Nick. Most of these did end up with spin-offs growing into a full series, so it's a good formula. Number 6. The show's creator, Natasha Allegri, is probably best known for her work on Adventure Time. She was responsible for the gender swap versions of the main characters, Fiona and Cake. This later manifested into its own comic book, which we'll get back to later. Number 7. Bee and Puppycat has been running since July 2013. That's just insane, 9 years, and it never fully stopped its run. It just wasn't very fast at getting more episodes off the ground. At least this one is publicly available on Cartoon Hangover. Number 8. The original web series alone, discounting the pilot episodes, took nearly 2 years on the dot to come out. Overshot that mark by 22 days. Number 9. Probably because of this, Tempbot has gone through a rather astounding five voice actresses. To the gamers among you, the one that will probably stand out the most is Ellen McLean, most famous for her role as GLaDOS in the Portal games. Not sure I'd want her as my AI boss. Number 10. Of course, McLean's line of, maybe there will be cake, is a reference to the famous line from Portal, the cake is a lie. Number 11. Tempbot calls Bee and Puppycat flapjacks in the episode Cats. This is a reference to the television show The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, in which the voice actress Roz Ryan had a role. Number 12, at least they settled it for Lazy in Space, where Tempbot is voiced by Diana Garnett for all of it. Number 13, although the prize for the strangest casting choice has to go to Puppycat for being voiced by an AI, Vocatones Oliver. Number 14, because Puppycat is voiced by a Vocaloid, the creator specifically requested foreign dubs do not change his lines from the English dub. And so they didn't. He's just as unintelligible in those. Number 15. The first season was animated by Dongwoo Animations in South Korea, but for Lazy in Space, it switched to OLM in Japan. Number 16. There was a small design change for both Bee and Puppycat after the pilot. They were both made a little chubbier with shorter proportions. In Bee's case, it makes her look more childlike. Strange, considering she's supposed to be 22 in the show. Number 17. The fact that the original series took so long to both produce and premiere probably made it quite a surprise that it only took until 2017 for the second season to be announced. Number 18. This is where things take a turn for the weird, however. Lazy in Space was originally slated for release in 2019, but Frederator Studios wanted a different streaming service than Cartoon Hangover. They ultimately found one in Netflix, but even that had its difficulties. Number 19. Netflix stepped in as a partner in October of 2020, but even though the vast majority of Lazy in Space was completed, it delayed the release for almost two years. Why? I have no idea. Number 20. Even for a show operating on as small a scale as this one, there have been 11 comic book tie-ins published by Boom Studios in 2014 through 2016. Number 21, but these were not immune from hijinks, because 16 had been ordered and even previewed in catalogs that year, complete with cover art and story synopsis, but alas, the remaining five were cancelled. Number 22, I did promise we would get back to this. Natasha Allegri has a connection with Boom Studios, as this was the publicist for those Adventure Time comics as well. Number 23, from here, there be spoilers. 
B being a cyborg is consistently hinted at throughout the episodes. She mentions her dad made games when walking through the arcade, hates getting wet, and is both way stronger and way heavier than her frame would suggest. Number 24, there are more. A lot of Bee's furniture and stuff in her attic seems to be related to computers, and quite old-fashioned ones that still use magnetic tapes. Number 25, Deckard's condition that makes his eyes of mismatched colors is called heterochromia iridium. While it is rare, it currently affects about 200,000 people in the United States alone. We also don't actually know what causes it. Number 26, Cass's full name is Castispella, probably a nod to the sorceress from He-Man. Number 27, in fact, all of the members of the wizard family are named after wizards from other media. Number 28, the transformation whenever Tempbot changes the outfits of the people in front of her look more than a little like the transformations from Sailor Moon. Quite intentionally, I'm sure. Number 29, backing this up is Bee's alarm clock, which bears a suspicious resemblance to Sailor Moon's cat, Luna. Number 30, if you've noticed I haven't mentioned anything from Lazy in Space, that's deliberate. I don't want to rely on leaked content for facts. If you want to watch that upcoming series, it's coming to Netflix on September 6th. We'll link to the show in the description and comments along with the original web series for you to check out. And that's it! 30 Facts You Should Know About Bee and Puppy Cat. Are you looking forward to Lazy in Space? Do be sure to let us know in the comments below, and while you're there, hit the subscribe button to be notified when we publish more great content. And remember, Frederator loves you!